So, so hello everyone and welcome back to the another great day of our PA PD Street to day 172. So let us see what the today's question is about and we will uh, quickly solve this question, right? So today's question name is dominant pairs. The tags here are two pointers sorting and algorithms. So if you have read this question and it's an easy categorization, you may have been able to solve it. But yes, <clears throat> if there was any problem, let us resume it. So we are given an array of integer size in where n is being even. So it is make sure that the array number of elements in the array would be even. We have to calculate the dominant pairs, and the dominant pair definition is that we need two indexes. That is, i ranges from 0 to n by 2, and j that is ranging from n by 2 to the last index. And we have this condition to satisfy. So if for particular i and j, if this condition satisfy, then that is a dominant pair, and we have to found the number of total dominant pair present in our array, right? Okay. Okay, okay, okay. So clearly for 10, 2, 2, 1, let us uh, quickly go in the quick uh, paint board. And we can clearly see for the elements 10, 2, 2, and 1, the indexes would be 0, 1, 2, 3, right? And n by 2 will be nothing but 4 by 2, that is 2, right? So this is this is the first range, right? Or half the elements, and this is the second range. So let's name this range as i and this as j, right? So what we need to find is that for every uh, elements present in this i, then let's say for 10, right? So we need to compare with this thing and we need to see that if 10 is greater than or equal to 2 into 5 or not. So it is, right? So this is, so we have to, in answer, answer will be like uh, plus 1. Similarly, this 10 will be compared to the, this one and it will see that if 10 is greater than or equal to 1 star 5. So it is again true. So answer will be updated to 2. Now we'll check for each and every entry present in the left. So we will check for this 2 and 2 and then we'll check for this 2 and 1, right? We can clearly see that the this, this, uh, uh, equation will not satisfy right so this is 2 greater than 2 into 5 this this will not satisfy satisfy similarly 2 greater than 1 star 5 this is also not not satisfy and your overall answer is 2 as mentioned here and that these are the indexes as also written down that is 0 to 2 and 0 to 3 and that's what we are driving in the case right so what would be our basic uh, brute force technique right so we have this first range that uh, name is at the left and we have this second range as in the right range that is divided the array elements in two halves. So we will have a pointer let's say for i equals to 0 to i less than n by 2. We will iterate for each and every elements in the left range. For each and every element present in the left range, it has to check for each and every element present in the right range, right? So I will use a jth pointer which will start from j less uh, equals to n by 2 and j should be less than n and j plus plus, right? Now we will simply satisfy the equation that it is possible that is let's say if array of i is greater than or equals to array of j star phi then what you need to do is you need to do answer plus plus this would be an if condition under the nested if right and at last you just have to write down this answer so that would be the pseudo code for our brute force technique right and what would be the time complexity the time complexity will be n square right let us code this approach and we'll see that if the tle comes or not okay so meanwhile, you also pause this video and try to code this approach. So yes, so you can clearly see that we have uh, coded the previous brute force technique. And let us hit the submit button now and we will see for ourselves. Okay, so let us wait for the results. Okay, so uh, 10,110 cases passed and five cases are remaining, right? So for those five cases, uh, the time complexity must be getting out of bound for 10 power 8 and that's why it is not getting submitted. You can clearly see that n is 10 power 4, right? We are using a technique of n square. But for these particular 5 cases, it is definitely going out of bound because it is hitting 10 power 8, the uh, time complexity, right? So what can be the optimization? So, okay. So, okay. So what we can do now is that we have tried n square now, right? We can try to do in now n root n, the lower complexity, or we can do the standard one in as n log n, right? So n root n uh, is uh, in the in the previous chart I have already showed you, right? If there is n log n, then you can try sorting technique, then you can try or tree map, or you can try heap, right? So these are the standard algorithms that take the n log n time, right? So if we start with the sorting technique, and if we see that if we can do something in the array elements, so just for the explaining purpose, I am taking a uh, different uh, array so let's say we have this array as uh, let's say 1 3 10 uh, not like this uh, we have this array as 10 15 11 and then we have this uh, 3 
two and one, right? Okay. So what can we do here in sorting is that we can sort the left half and then we can sort the right half, right? So can we uh, let us take the same example, then we will see. So this is 10 to 2 and 1, right? So if we sort the left half and the right half, it will be 2 comma 10 and then 1 comma 2, right? Because uh, we just have to find the number of counts, like what are the number of elements in the left half is satisfying with the inequality in the right half, right? We do not have to do anything with the indexes. That is the reason we can sort here and we can go ahead. So now if I compare that if 2 with this 2, if I compare this will be my ith pointer starting from here and this will be my jth pointer starting from the second half first element. So 2 will be compared with 1, right? So definitely I will be using a for loop for let's say for i equals to 0 i less than n by 2 and i plus plus this will be a definitely a first for loop so it would be compared with 2 with this one 2 and i so what's the need of sorting let us see so 2 is greater than equals to 1 square 5 so definitely it is not then the j will not be incremented now i will check for the second element and i will check if 10 is greater than equals to 1 square 5 definitely it is so i will do j plus plus so now my j is now point at this point now I, I will check that if 10 is greater than equals to 2 star 5, so it is, so I will do again j++ but it will go out of bound, right. And what are the indexes? So it is 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, right. And 4 is the out of bound index as of now. So since all the elements have been completed for 10 and we can see, so can we do something that have, what, what all number of elements are there? So I know that uh, till this point it is n by 2, right right and till till this point it is j right if i subtract j minus n by 2 i will definitely get the count of numbers which is satisfying the relation right so i will make an answer variable i will say that for each and every i it would be uh, j minus n by 2 right now let us dry run this example in my this particular test case so that we can uh, visualize it more uh, what to say in clarity so I have this, so if we sort the first half and the second half of this uh, above given elements, then it will be what? It would be 10, 11 and 15 and it would be 1, 2 and 3, right? So my I pointer will be here and my J pointer will be here for the starters in the starting. And it, it will compare that if 10 is greater than equals to 1 star 5, so it is. So the J pointer will go to this point and it will say, it will compare now that if 10 is greater than equals to 2 star 5, so it is and the J pointer will go to my third uh, element and now it will compare 10 is greater than equals to 3 star 5 so it is not so the j pointer will not move ahead right and for this particular i right my answer would be what my answer would be answer plus equals to j minus n by 2 right because the overall index till here is j right and till here it is n by 2 right and i just need to cover the elements present in this right half right till the from n by 2 to till the jth right like exclusive of j, right? So that is what I'm doing j minus n by 2. Okay, so now the first element has been processed. So let us process for the 11. Now the catch here is that, can you tell me that if I process for this second element, would I need to restart or replace my jth pointer to this first place? Or I can continue from here, from here itself, from this j itself. Can I do that? So can I do that thing? So I, I will say that definitely we can do that thing because if for 10, let's say for 10, we have these two elements applicable, right? That 10 is greater than 1 star 5 and 2 star 5. Then definitely for all the elements in the right hand right hand of the side of the 10 will have this particular number of integer in their answer. Right? Because if 10 is greater than 1 star 5, hai, then definitely an element greater than 10 that is 11 will obviously be greater than 1 star 5 right so whatever be the answer of this let's say x right then this element will again have x an answer and some something as y right and this element will again have the previous answer for sure and then something let's say as z right okay so let us see now so okay so now what i will check so i will not replace my jth pointer to again at n by 2 index but i will continue moving forward right i already explained you why so I will I will check now if 11 is greater than 3 star 5 so it is not right so I will move my i pointer ahead I will check with and before moving the i pointer ahead I will again say that answer is plus equals to j minus n by 2 that is 
we got the same elements one and two here as well right but we do not need to check that that's the optimization we are doing <coughs> so now my answer will be updated to it was two if we check for 10 then again two plus two it is four when we check for 11 now i will check for this third element where the i is my this pointer right and i will check if 15 is greater than equals to three star five and you will say yes it is satisfying the equality and j plus plus so j will move to this point out of bound now right <coughs> and then again this this 15 will have all the elements that is starting from n by 2 to j right so i will again add answer plus equals nothing plus n by 2 minus j but this time it would be 4 plus 3 that is 7 right okay so let us dry run this case maybe in our compiler as well and <coughs> if it comes out to be correct then we will move ahead so let me dry run it for you so as you can see we have compiled the this particular test case just to see that if our optimized approach will give the same answer or not and you can see that it has given us the same answer right so i highly recommend you guys to please pause the video here and try to code it yourself but let me give you a very um a uh, glimpse of the pseudo code so definitely we have this i pointer running for this first half so we'll have i till 0 to n by 2 but we cannot just increment j plus plus right we don't have the opportunity to increment each and every time without even checking right so for that case we will use a while loop right because we do not know that till when we have to increment it right so we will check since it is moving forward we'll check that while j less than equals to n and i will what i will check it satisfies the current inequality that is array of i is greater than nothing but array of j star 5 this will be my while loop right and if that's the case then i have to do j plus plus right yes and for each and every i i have to I, outside this while loop i will just say that answer plus equals to j minus n by 2 and at the end and the last of the for loop i will return the answer yep Right, and before this thing, you have to sort the first half and then the second half also before running this follow. So please try to uh, code it yourself, and then we will uh, meet again in let's say five to six minutes from your end. So as you can see, I've coded the exact step, and uh, this for the sorting technique, I have mentioned the line number sixty five and sixty six for C plus plus users as well, and that's the exact thing that I've showed you in the pseudo code. So now let us, uh, and you can see the compilation has run successfully. Let us hit the submit button. And what would be the time complexity? This time it would not be n square, but we are using the sorting technique. So it would be n log n, right? So it would be n log n and yes. And here we are just iterating each and every element once. If you see, although you can see an nested while loop, but you can see that we are iterating just each and every element exactly once, right? So this will take an O of n. But the sorting will take the n log n in the parallel. So the overall time will be n log n and the space complexity will be O of 1. So that is it for today's video. I have showed you the C plus code as well. You just have to uh, change these two lines, line number 65 and 66 with 62 and 63. Let us meet in the tomorrow tomorrow's video of day 173. And if you are new to this channel, please like, share and subscribe because uh, it definitely takes a lot of time and patience to make the video. And I'll be also be more motivated and <laughs> uh, more energetic to making the videos again. Till then, keep learning, keep growing. Bye-bye and take care.